Making a motion time lapse with your Insta360 GO 3 is not only possible, but super easy. Find out just how simple it is to get this done quickly with no gimbal involved. It's going to shock you when I show you how easy this is. So let's go through. Okay, first let's capture a time lapse. You can control your capture completely using your action pod options to select your settings. Select time lapse from your shooting options and select the settings to change what you need to. I'm going to go for a 16 by 9 landscape orientation here. 1440p resolution is fixed as is 30 frames per second. But what you can change here is the interval. You'll need to figure out which works best for you according to the scene that you're going to shoot. Low intervals will make time go by more slowly. On other cameras, I like using two to three second intervals and the lowest interval on the original Go was 15 seconds. But now I can go as low as 0.5 seconds with the Go 3, which is just fantastic. For example, choosing two seconds is still going to be pretty smooth, but enable me to get a nice sense of time passing quickly where you see the smoothest movement as time progresses. Long breaks between intervals will make the footage faster, but possibly a bit jerkier too. Now, just look here on the right and you can see the calculation the camera is giving you telling you that for any set interval how much footage you'll get from a set recording time. This is really helpful in making sure you don't over or under record according to how much footage you want to end up with eventually. Once you've recorded your time lapse footage if you try to view it in the action pod it tells you that it's not possible and you need to fire up your app to view it. Now this is less than helpful, but we're going to use the app anyway for this trick. So let's go ahead and start that up. I'm using iOS, by the way. Here's the sample time lapse, which I'm going to work with. That looks pretty good. Okay, here's the secret tip. When you're looking at the time lapse in your local or camera album in the Insta360 app, a long press on that footage opens up the ability to reframe your footage. Here's when you can go the extra step of keyframing your footage and then transition between your keyframes in your footage to add the motion you're looking for. And here's another tip for you. If you choose the linear field of view, it will give you more room to play with at the edge of the frame. And for those points that are not quite in view, giving you more range of movement possible in your motion time lapse. Okay, let's find a point to start here on the edge of the captured frame, just out of sight with what you're initially presented with in the frame. And then let's transition to this point here, still within the edge of the captured frame before you get to that black space and artifacts. Okay, that's done. And you can do this any number of times you want and export for different motion time lapses. Let's take a look. Super easy, eh? If you've enjoyed this video on how to make a motion time lapse with the Go 3, you might want to watch my other videos on the Go 3, like this one. Share, like, applaud, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. My name's Saab Johal, and have fun out there.